Good morrow, it's Wednesday and I'm back with another video. And today I have some pizza. It's just the DiGiorno pizza with some uh, boneless wings. Hmm. Mm hmm. Delish, supreme. So dang tasty. And then I also obviously have some ranch. I have a side of ranch in case I need it. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be going through. And then I do have some sauce down here as well. Some good old Valentina. So I hope everyone's been doing well. I'm uh, trying to hang in there. We all know life is rather difficult. Um, but I'm going to be regaling you this, um, the story of that interview I had. So, if you're new, hey, hi, hello. Uh, my name is Wednesday. I live in bumfuck nowhere. And I had to walk an hour to an interview last week for something... I don't even think I got. So, um, that was real cool. But anyway, so I got up and I was like iffy about it because it was raining. Again, I would have just ridden my bike, even though I was wearing a dress. Um, But like I said, it was raining and it's dangerous enough trying to get down my the main street I'm on on a bike, let alone while it's raining. So yeah, I just grabbed my umbrella and took off. And uh, it stopped raining pretty much right when I got on the trail. Thankfully. And like, it wasn't a terrible walk. I was just really long. Very pretty though. I put a picture on my um, wall, community board. <laughs> um, so it's it's a little bit down there now, but you can still find it. I was trying so hard to remain positive. By the way, the entire time I was walking, I also had a hurt foot, so. I feel. So I finally got up into town. I got there right on time. I did the interview. I thought it went pretty well. I do have limited availability because I don't have a car. I don't think they like that, but they can go fuck themselves, honestly. Egg. How am I ever supposed to get a car if no one will hire me because I don't have a car? It makes no sense. And I don't exactly live in an area that's like... You know, I don't live in town. I'm like, yeah, there's places around me, but... I 
I'm not cut out for factory work. Because I don't think any of these places will hire me. They just want men. But I walked home. Which I didn't do too bad. I didn't start getting tired until like the last mile. So I'm proud of that fact in itself. You know, like, good job, me. You walked all that fucking way. But I didn't give up and just go home. I did the full thing. I did the interview. And I'm super proud of myself. Because that's something I wouldn't have been able to do like last year. I wish I had gotten the job, but whatever. They said they weren't going to be doing the hiring until the next week, which doesn't make sense. Because, like, why wouldn't you just tell me if I got the job or not? So they were just like, well, keep an eye on your email. We'll send something. I'm like, I don't believe you. So... Now it's back to the drawing board. I am so grateful that I did hit 1k though because it was an accomplishment. So I am proud of myself and grateful for going and checking it out and seeing what's up and then like it's funny because like since that interview I've literally gone up past that place like three times just getting used to like riding my bike up there like hi with a bike it's not difficult at all like the hardest part is like getting across like the two major roads or the three major roads I should say except Old Plank's not that bad riding down I will, I'm heading into town I ride my bike down and then when I'm coming back, I walk it up because like one side of the road, there's like a nice big space on the other side of the road. Where I can walk my bike down or grab it back down. And the other side where I would be riding back, because if you don't know, if you're not like a cyclist, you're supposed to ride with traffic. And the other way I would definitely get hit by a semi. <laughs> so, that's always fun. Oh my goodness, I'm full. But, I'm surprised that with my vest, like with my security vest, 
people still aren't careful. Like we had to have a PSA about like drivers purposely hitting cyclists because it's an actual problem. But yeah, I mean, there's still a chance that they might call me this week, but like, I don't have my hopes up. Like, at all. Like, everyone's like, oh, places are desperate for people. People, like, I went up to this, the video where I talk about hasn't come out yet. <laughs> I have, like, kind of a little backlog going on. Oopsies, but, like, you know, life. Um, but I went up to this Mexican place, and, like, they called, but they didn't leave a message. So I'm like, well, you obviously don't need that much help. people like I want a job but I'm not gonna sell my soul for a shitty job I'm not saying that any of these places are shitty but it's like you know I'm not gonna like settle for something I know I'll hate like retail like, I'd rather work in food service or, like, be a barista or something. Um. There's one new place that's opening up that I'm going to see about. And other than that, I don't know what I'm going to do until next spring. Because last spring, I stupidly didn't listen to myself and listen to other people and got myself screwed over because they were all like, I was like, you need to find a job, you need to find a job. Before I was like even ready to, same thing with you know who. Uh, it's like now like half these places won't answer when I reapply because, you know, I fucking need plans to like have an interview and then I wasn't able to show up because I didn't have a way to get there or I wasn't ready or you know it wasn't feasible at the time because fun fact you can't just walk an hour without being or attempting to get in shape because it's tough <laughs> like at the beginning of the summer I wouldn't have been able to do that hour walk I'm amazed I was able to do it with my bum foot you know I I hope something turns up for me. I mean, things already have, and I'm very grateful, like I said. Like, I'm so proud of myself for walking all the way up there. And then, you know, walking home, and I got home, and I was like, I did that. That was a thing I did. That felt great. You know, and like, my fitness, I'm so much more in better shape than I There's some things I do need to tweak, and some things I do need to work on. There's a lot I still need to work on. I cannot wait till I can get therapy. Ugh, that'll be wonderful. But that hitting 1k in my youtube i wish i was able to like do more videos but like i have to do what i can for right now because like there's some life stuff that i'm not certain about and like a chance i'll have to take like pretty serious hiatus but i'm just taking things as they come right now and i hope that things do eventually get much better <laughs> like there already are better but like it's just hard like seeing like everyone else other places i was just like venting to Kane earlier all this too. I'm like everyone has I've been watching everyone else have fun and like I'm just waiting for it to be my turn and it never was. <sighs> you know I don't think I'm gonna see him anytime soon even though he's like I want to hang out. I'm like well let's do it. But I don't know. I'm just trying to get through this fucking year. I knew this year was gonna be bad. I knew this year was gonna be bad. When Betty White dipped and I got that concussion I knew it was not going to be a good year. I knew it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If this is the first time you see my face, please consider subscribing. I post new videos um, about once a week, sometimes more. It just depends on what's going on, what I have filmed. And yeah, hopefully I'm going to start vlogging eventually, maybe one day. And...
my social media is linked down below, Snapchat, Instagram. I post on those pretty often. Um, Snapchat more than Instagram, but I do post on Instagram sometimes. And I talk to you guys on there, so feel free to message me. And yeah, please drop me in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.